Hey guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I got this in the mail, which I'm actually really excited to check out. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. These are 1S, I think 205 milliamp hour, 3.8 volt lithium polymer high voltage batteries. Um, they're designed for tiny whoops. Um, I'm really curious to check them out. I don't know if they work any better than the regular ones. So I figured, you know what? I haven't seen any other videos online showing kind of the difference between a high voltage and not high voltage for the tiny whoop. So today the plan is I'm going to open these up, throw these on the charger, charge them up to the full, I think, um, 4.35 volts, and then compare those to my regular batteries charged up to 4.2 volts. Um, there's really two areas that I'm most interested in checking out. Um, first and foremost is performance. So fresh off the charger with the extra voltage, do I get any more punch? So, you know, one test I plan to do is starting from a, a level height, go full throttle until I reach a certain point and try to time it. Do that a few times, do it with both the regular batteries and the high voltage batteries. Do we notice a difference? How much of a difference is it? Um, the second area that I'm really curious to check out is even though the same amperage is there, because the batteries that are higher voltage, I'm wondering if you actually get more efficiency out of the battery. So can I actually fly longer with the high voltage 1S versus the, the regular uh, batteries? So if the amperage is the same, but the voltage is slightly higher, I figure the watts would be higher, so you could use less throttle to stay in the air. Um, so the, to try to test that, all I plan to do is um, basically hover the tiny whoop um, for as long as I can until I get my low battery warning from my Tyrannus. Um, and at that point, I'll land it, I'll time it, see how long it went for. Um, so I have four of these batteries. I'm going to charge them up. I'm going to run uh, one test with two of them and another test with the other two. So let's go uh, check them out and see how they do. So these are 205 milliamp hour Crazy Pony batteries. Um, I don't have... 3.7 volt uh, Crazy Pony 205 batteries to compare directly to, but I do have some other 205 milliamp hour 3.7 uh, volt batteries which I'll compare to. I also have a 250 milliamp hour Crazy Pony battery. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what the flight times look like on that versus the 205 on the high voltage. So if I get a chance, let's take let's check that out too. Now that I got the batteries, let's throw them on the charger, get them charged up to full, and see how they do. Up first is the punch test for the high voltage battery. The way I'm doing this is I'm setting a prop on the floor to mark a consistent spot, and then I just max out the throttle, and then as soon as I clear the second floor, I stop the timer and compare how long it took me to get to that point. Uh, the second floor starts around 10 feet, so I'm basically seeing how long it takes to get to 10 feet. The thing to keep in mind is that I'm actually showing time code here and not full time. So that means after the second mark, you're actually seeing the frame that we're on and not the number of milliseconds. So since I'm doing this at 60 frames per second, that number after the seconds mark will actually go up to 60. Um, it's just important for comparison purposes. Anyway, let's go give this a punch out and see how we do with the high voltage pack. All right, so that was about one and a third seconds. Uh, let's go ahead and try it one more time to see how we do. All right, and that was about the same, slightly faster. So I think it's about one second and 20 frames, about one and a third seconds. Now let's try to see what the LiPo does. All right, so that was more about a second and a half. Um, not a huge difference, but definitely a difference. And let's do it one more time. All right, now it's just a little bit longer. So one second, 36 frames, just over one and a half seconds. And now let's do a side by side comparison. It almost looks like the LiPo took off slightly sooner. Um, but you can see here, the high voltage is definitely rocketing past it. Um, not a massive difference when washing it like this, but it was definitely a noticeable difference uh, while flying like this. All right, so next I want to do the hover test. Um, I'm comparing the 205 milliamp hour battery versus the 250 milliamp hour battery for LiPos, and then comparing that to the 205 milliamp hour lithium high voltage battery. All right, now let's go ahead and speed this up and see which one lasts the longest.
That's the first light bulb battery there. That's the high voltage battery. And finally the 250 milliamp hour battery. So you can see that the 205 milliamp hour lithium high voltage almost lasted as long as the 250 milliamp battery. Um, both were definitely longer than the 205 standard pack. Um, I thought that was very impressive. All right guys, so to wrap it up, I love these batteries. Um, I'm just really impressed. So in the test we did, there was a noticeable difference in the punch out. It was definitely faster right off the gate. Um, when actually flying, which is what I find to be most important, it was a huge difference. When I was doing flips and rolls, I could instantly catch myself in the air versus with the standard battery, you know, I was always losing altitude even on a brand new charge. Um, that's just a complete game changer for me with these batteries. I don't yet know if these are going to last as many charges as a regular battery, but frankly, I just don't care. You know, the price of these is barely more than the other ones, and the price for these little gumstick batteries isn't that much anyway. I'd much rather buy a few extra of these and have more fun flying than worrying about how long they last. So, at this point, my only regret is that I didn't buy more of these. I think I'm going to place another order and get some more of these. I don't really want to use the other ones. In fact, I think I'm going to go throw these back on the charger because I want to get back to it. So highly recommended guys you know if you're flying the non hv uh packs on your tiny whoop might as well go get the hv packs because it's just that much more fun i was really really impressed and really surprised by these results but it's really good so anyway i think that's going to wrap it up guys thank you for watching thank you for support it means so much to me i'm having a lot of fun doing these videos and, and you guys really make it worth it so you know thanks again and i'll catch you guys next time have fun like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun.